I'm Tom from Do-It-Yourself Home Automation, and this is a look at how the Nest Learning Thermostat actually saves you money. Now, um, at the time that I'm making this video, the kind of tagline for this thermostat from Google is that it programs itself then pays for itself. And this is based on a study that they've done that shows that people with the Nest Thermostat tend to save about 10 to 15 percent on their heating and cooling costs, which is enough to pretty quickly pay for the cost of the thermostat. So how does it actually go about saving you money? Um, I think there's three things that it's doing, and I'll cover each of those three things. Um, the first piece is that it programs itself according to your actual routine. And um, it learns from how you make changes to the temperature in the home throughout the day and mimics those over time. So, you know, if you like to have it be very cold at night um, and you always turn your thermostat down before you go to bed, it'll learn that um, and start to do that for you. And that way you're not having to kind of keep the house at a particular temperature um, for the whole evening just because you want it to be uh, colder when you go to sleep or something like that. It knows that you're going to uh, want to turn your temperature down or up at a particular time of day. It does that for you in advance. Um, and that way you're not having to sort of keep the temperature at one place or constantly be going and tweaking it. Um, so, and it, it tends to, I think, kind of err on the side of going for the more energy efficient option. So it's not going to put the temperature at 69 degrees for the night starting at uh, 6 p.m. It'll wait until it knows it's generally near your bedtime and then it'll start to turn the temperature down. So for most of the evening, uh, your temperature in the house will be, you know, 72 or something like that, a more reasonable, energy efficient number. Um, so just learning your routine and programming itself in a lot of ways is going to save you money uh, because it can kind of just keep the house at the temperature that you like when you actually want it to be that temperature. Um, the second piece is that it actually is able to learn and know when you're in the house and when you're not. So a lot of energy is wasted because people don't shut off their thermostat when they leave the house um, and maybe they don't switch it back on when they come in and that kind of thing. Um, so one of the really useful things that the Nest thermostat does is it can actually recognize when you're home and when you're not. And it does that with a bunch of different ways. Um, one way is that it can detect uh, when you're in the house by sort of visualizing, I don't believe it has a camera, but it has sensors that can determine if you're in the same room as it or if you've been walking near it recently. And that gives it some data on whether you're home or not. Um, and it's pretty good at not being too sensitive. So, you know, if you go upstairs for an hour or something like that, it's not gonna make the assumption that you've left the house but if you tend to go to work at 9 a.m. and it's 9.30 and it hasn't seen you move for half an hour, then it's probably going to assume you've left and go into a energy-saving away mode. Um, and when you're not in the house, you can set it to go to an eco-friendly temperature. So, you know, when you leave, maybe you want it to go up to 75 in the house. Uh, it can automatically do that. If you have the Nest app on your phone, it also knows where your phone is. So when you leave the house and it hasn't seen you move and it sees that your phone is not near your house, it actually can um, de determine that you're away from the house and go to that energy efficient uh, setting. And again, just not having the system running when you're not home um, tends to save a lot of money because you're not heating and air conditioning a uh, vacant house. And then the final piece is the sort of algorithmic and high-tech magic uh, that Google is applying here and probably tweaking all the time. And these are little things um, that probably add up to save you a little bit of money here and there. So, you know, one example is that the Nest thermostat will make good use of your fan even if it's not running the air conditioning to cool the house. So, you know, if it wants to get the temperature down to 70, and it's uh, 72, it'll run the AC for a while, then it'll shut off the air conditioner and keep the fan going to kind of circulate that cold air around the house, and then check again and see if it's gotten it down to the target temperature. Um, and if not, it'll run the AC for a bit longer, use the fan. Um, the fan uses a lot less power than the AC, so by doing that, it's um, just getting you down to the temperature you want and not wasting a lot of energy, um, you know, getting, getting it too cold or colder than you wanted it to be. Um, and it's trying to make use of the fan and that kind of thing to just circulate air um, and not, uh, not have to use the air conditioner as much. Um, and there's a lot of just little things that it will do like that. Um, even something as simple as it reminds you when to change the filter on your air conditioner, which is, you know, um, it's kind of hard sometimes to remember, but it'll actually flash up a warning and say it's been three months, time to change the filter. 
that gives you a little efficiency gain right there. Um, so again, you know, three pieces to it. The automatic programming means that your house is only um, at the temperature you actually want it to be. You're not having to keep it at uh, one particular temperature for a lot longer than it needs to be. Um, the second piece is that home and away function that the Nest is able to do automatically, uh, detecting when you're in the house and when you're not, and then changing the temperature when you leave. Um, and the third piece is this sort of um, algorithmic tricks and things like using the fan instead of the air conditioner, spreading cold air around, warning you about the filter, and probably a lot of other stuff that, uh, that we're not even aware of. Um, if this helps in any way, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps.